to Life in Pixels. Thanks so much for joining me. So today I'm going to be doing another video on some MC Command Center settings. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about was SIM flag. So last time I talked about different settings in MC Command Center that affect story progression and how the different sims, the different townies in your neighborhood will go about marriage and pregnancy and things like that. And we can fine tune and tweak some of those to specific sims by using flags. And I'll go ahead and link that other video for story progression if you haven't seen it, but this one will look at sim flags. So this is the sim that you've seen in my last couple of videos. This is Sage. She is part of my Not So Berry playthrough. She's my green generation, as you can probably tell by all the green stuff in her room. And forgive her face, she's looking a little dazed right now. But you can set your MC Command Center settings. Most of them are on the computer, but some are on your actual sim. So if you click on them, they come up with their own menu for MC Command Center. And then there's some things down here dealing with flags. So for the most part, you can't set a lot of flags on your actively played household because you're actively playing them. And most of the settings for story progression with this mod only affect Sims that are not part of your active household, but you can still flag those as well. So I'm just gonna click on her because she's active. She's part of my active household. And if you click on sim flags, then a few things pop up. So these deal with create a sim and clothing. The dresser deals with clothing. So for example, if we click on MC cast, we can freeze her physique. So that means she won't gain or lose weight. We can flag her appearance. So that won't change pregnancy. I can click on this and then again, flags affecting offspring. So I can flag her for no offspring. So I can flag that she won't have children. But as far as story progression goes, those are pretty much the only settings that really affect that. If you go under MC Command Center, you can flag a few other things like no aging, free skills. So they will never go up. You can make your sim immortal, you can freeze their motives and things like that, but they don't really apply to story progression. So let's look at what does. So this, I just have her relationship panel pulled up in this sim right here, Noah. This happens to be your father. He does not live in the household. So if this sim is either in person or in the relationship panel, you can click and the same things will come up. So I'm just gonna click on his picture click on MC Command Center, and this same menu will pop up if he was in person. I could click on him and kind of do the same thing. So let's click on Sim Flags, and then there are some more options available. So I can click on the same thing for the MC Command Center. I can have him not age, be immortal, things like that. I can go down here into Career, I can freeze his career so that he will never quit his job. He'll never get a new job. He'll just always be in that same career. I can, there's just things with cast with their clothes and stuff. For clubs, I can flag him to never be part of a club. So in our last video, we talked about if you have club settings on, your sim can randomly join a club. I can make it where he never joins a club if I click that population, I can flag him as homeless so that he will never move into a home or I can mark him for move in. So that means that when there's an available slot, he will automatically move into a home. If I click on, oh, just clicked on that one. If I click on pregnancy, then a few things pop up, flags affecting some pregnancy. If we look at that, I can flag him to only be able to get other sims pregnant. I can flag him to be always same sex or always opposite sex. So that means if I flag him as always same sex, then he will only be in gay relationships. So he'll only be in relationships with other male sims. If I flag him for opposite sex, then he will only be in heterosexual relationships. And so he will only partner with female sims. Um, I can flag him to not have affairs so that there's no percentage of him having an affair. I can flag him to become pregnant. So that means he will not impregnate other Sims. He would only get pregnant. 
or I can flag him to specifically allow him to have affairs. And so he would be more likely to engage in an affair. So I can turn any of those on. I can do flags that affect offspring. So I can flag that he will only adopt children. I can flag that he won't have any other children. Or I can flag that any children that he has would only be babies. And then flags that affect marriage relationships. I can flag that he will only marry a sim of his same age, that he will never break up with his partner, that he may marry any sim of any age, or that he will never get married. So if you're going for certain storylines, and if you just really don't care about like most of the townies, you want them to do their own thing, but there are certain sims. So maybe they're like a best friend or a relative or like your sim moves out of the home, but their parents are still adults and you don't want them to do certain things. Or like in this case, her father doesn't live in the home, but I might want him to, you know, never get married to anyone else just for particular stories or whatever. You can do that. I think my favorite setting is that you could flag them to be homosexual or heterosexual only. I think that's a really cool function of the game since mostly Sims are like bisexual by nature. Like when you play them, you can either make them go for whatever gender that you want. So you can make them homosexual while you're playing them. You can make them heterosexual while you're playing them. But once you're not playing them actively anymore, if you have the story progression settings turned on, then they might kind of just go outside of your story that you had in your mind, right? So if you were playing one sim that was only homosexual, but then they move out and now they're married in a heterosexual relationship, that might not make sense for your story. Or you can just kind of roll with it, but you can also flag so they'll only, you know, be within those parameters that you set. So I think that's pretty cool that you can have your sim, have different like flags. So that sim is treated as special. Another flag that I'm not seeing on this menu, I've just clicked through all of them, but I've seen them on other sims is if you've, and I think it's probably just because it applies to sims that you've played before. So for example, I'm doing the not so berry challenge. And so if I've played one household and then I have like the child move out to start their own household, then I can flag their parent as ancestral. And so that means that I have, I have them flagged as ancestral, then they won't move out of their home. They're not going to change their last name. They're not going to engage in random marriage or pregnancy if I have those settings for bypassing ancestral sims. So that way you can keep certain sims intact in that way if you want to. I think the reason I'm not seeing it on her dad, for example, is he's never lived in this home. I've never actually played him. He's just always been a townie and all of her other family members are currently deceased. So I can't like click on them and show you those settings. But yeah, that's pretty cool too. So there's just some different flags. So I would say like play around, look at the flags and see what you want to do. And so that you can have certain sims perform certain functions or act a certain way and I think it's just a really cool way to play your game and still have like a lot of randomness with the story progression while keeping some of your main storylines intact. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye!